here I am wearing my homemade guard. That's what it looks like, okay? I'm going to spit it out while I show you something. This is a Chinese way of purifying the blood. I had another one that uh, came with a wrist. And I know I'm not supposed to look at this, so don't worry. I'm not putting my eyes on it. And um, I went into my healing closet and I found it. But I was able to use it a maximum of two times. So, as you can see, this is my arm. And I'm leaning on it, right? <sighs> okay, sorry. I... I just feel that uh, my my uh, muscles in my TMJ area are swelling under my chin, specifically. So, uh, at any rate, um, it's very similar. The wrist is very similar to this, but it broke after two uses. And so, I decided to look for this. Now, this, I will not use it as it comes with the instructions to put up the nose because that is really dangerous. Okay. But here on my wrist, where I got my main arteries or veins, whatever you call it, um, it worked the other day. I'm not uh, feeling like faint as I was before. Um, uh, I think that if I were to run my errands and go get bottles of water and carry them up inside, I don't think <laughs> that at 4 o'clock in the afternoon... I would be drained and I would have to go to sleep right away and not wake up till 10 o'clock the next day, which is what happened before. I think, oh, the thing went off already. Okay. I think that, um, and this is what it looks like, but the band, it looks different. I have it someplace around here, but let me continue. Uh, let me see if this, see, it doesn't turn. Oh, it turned back on. So let's see, so you could see it. Okay, I think I'm going to, because the wristband allows it for a little more time than this lasts, because up the nose is a lot more dangerous, quite frankly. I would never do that. I've done it before, quite frankly. <coughs> anyway, um, just to continue, I think that if I were to weed whack for 10 to 15 minutes, I won't get the way I got um, when I recorded myself after that, where I was faint. My voice had no energy. You could tell. It, it, and I, I have no reason to act. You know, sometimes doctors are going to have to have a relationship with their patients and, and, and believe them and just let the insurance company decide for themselves if they're going to approve them. Okay, so that's what this uh, recording is about. Um, I'm very upset today. So for some reason, I wonder if it's affecting my TMJ muscles because... Uh, I feel them swollen. Um, I'm not really laying flat on my back with my chin pointing up. So that may, may be it. <coughs> I came to bed a little early, but I was very, very upset. And um, I'm almost considering not wearing my guard for at least an hour before I get up because I do wake up intermittently because I, I'm pretty much a little bit traumatized. I wake up to make sure I'm sleeping the right way. And um, <clears throat> I'm considering taking the guard off like an hour before getting up because I know it's going to swell my um, muscles and making an appearance over at the Denville office to see who I can talk to there about my own doctor not believing my condition. Just because... I take necessary precautions so I could talk at least a half hour, maximum an hour. So when I go to his office, I look fine. I, I sound normal. My doctor, uh, primary doctor, Mr. Wright, never stops to look at me in the eyes and ask me, how are you feeling? How is it going? Giving me a caring moment because he would know me a little bit better and you know, I get teary-eyed. Teary My chiropractor knows me. 
And I told him, if you don't believe me, then call my chiropractor. He really knows me because he stops to talk to me. He's not too busy on the computer and rushing out as if I don't mean a thing. Given the fact that this primary doctor is new to me and he doesn't give me a chance, doesn't stop to talk and look at me and feel me out. And to think that he doesn't trust me, right? Uh, he thinks I'm lying. Obviously, he thinks I'm a fraud because he's saying that I am not disabled. Well, I'm, uh, I'm temporarily disabled. Thank goodness I don't need an operation on my TMJ area, right? Uh, <coughs> I look forward to therapy. And I made a bunch of appointments. Hopefully, in one or two appointments, three appointments, uh, I'll be healed already because I've heard about that kind of therapy. And um, I wish I would have taken up a referral in the past, but it was way down in Allentown by St. Luke. And um, I was just discouraged about going over there. Um, <coughs> who cares how far it is? Now I realize, now that I'm being referred by a doctor, because before I was referred by a doctor, but it was a, upon my request. So I wasn't convinced I needed it. But now a surgeon's telling me this is going to work. So I'm excited. I'm thrilled. I made all the appointments. And um, I want to do it through Geisinger. I like Dr. Storm. But I've been burnt by two other doctors in Geisinger. Um, way back when I had the accident, a week and a half to two weeks later, I saw my then primary, Dr. Hussein. And I forgot to ask him to request a CT scan. So I emailed him and called and emailed and called. Chase after him a little bit so that he could get me a CT scan because I was feeling thumping in my um, <clears throat> in in my uh, left brain, left side of the brain, which are where the muscles are, right? That's a sign of TMJ. But he refused and he insisted that I was fine. I was just fine. Well, lo and behold, came the end of February. Now the TMJ was manifesting because my jaw was locking. Okay, so... If the doctor would not have waited so long, um, he would have, and he would have gotten me the CT scan, I think something would have showed up and I would have been treated right away to prevent what later on happened to me. Now, what had happened to me after uh, the end of, of February, I was unable to, uh, <coughs> let me just focus here because I, there's no pictures to show. I was unable to. <coughs> to talk of my jaw was locking uh it within two weeks of chiropractor i i it, it took me some time to figure out what cmj by the way i had no idea so within two weeks of chiropractic treatment the jaw locking stopped uh the chiropractor did something with something that kind of like well whatever um so the jaw the jaw locking stopped but then what kicked in one morning uh was my 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 jaw was misaligned my teeth were misaligned i couldn't eat um and at times uh my my, my jaw was just shutting with force um i wouldn't even know that it's open and, and it would just shut with force and it could cut, cut either my my teeth or my tongue if they were in the way so thank god my teeth are wearing thin but my primary concern is really not that, although that is cosmetic and um, that's that's been one of my good features, my teeth. Um, so, no, I don't want to lose that. So it is a concern, but the main concern is that um, uh, lately, especially, I'm tired of eating mashed potatoes and baby food type things. Um, and so my food is not being digested well and this could affect my health overall um so i forgot my train of thought um so this could affect me in that way um i can't wait to take therapy so i get better and i improve but um if i wouldn't wear my guard i would wake up swollen and not being able to talk past 20 minutes for the whole, whole day back the way I was. Um, I discovered how to wear the guard. And it's not that I've gotten better. It's that I wear the guard. And when I wake up I'm not swollen. Because I'm sleeping in the right 
I'm sleeping in a way that is not irritating my muscles, my muscle area in my jaw. And, um, <clears throat> so, but however, if, if I wear the, the guard and I'm, I'm able to work, it's not going to go past two hours, probably on a good day. I mean, I did do pretty good two weekends ago. Uh, was it, was that fourth of July? Was it? I can't believe within August, but, uh, yeah, it was fourth of July, um, that I was able to hang out and I couldn't believe it. Uh, it, it's like I was back to myself because I was able to talk to my friends. That's the first time in a long time that I've, um, related to who I really am. My goodness, I haven't been myself in a long time. It's a good thing I live alone because I, uh, you know, I can't talk. Um, if I talk, it irritates my muscles. And if I have a job, uh, I'll give it a maximum of two hours on a good day, uh, that I could work over the phone, Right. Uh, coupled with getting fatigued, um, my upper muscles are affecting my body muscles and uh, I get fatigued physically, which is why I was explaining about when I uh, did some weed whacking for 15 minutes, I became very faint. And when I carried water into the house, I became very faint, went to bed at four o'clock, woke up 10 o'clock in the morning next day. That's a lot of hours to sleep. Um, my doctor, my, my, my chiropractor could attest to that. He knows. So after I did that little light therapy there, um, my doctor did notice that I had a change in color, but my primary doctor doesn't know me. He doesn't know me from Adam. If, if I was yellow skinned and pale, he, he wouldn't even notice cause he's too busy going in to his computer. Uh, he looks at me once or twice. It's a lot. Uh, he doesn't ask me how I'm doing. But my chiropractor does. Now, he's not a physician and he cannot sign a disability form. Now, I've paid for this disability, accidental disability, for 16 years. I have every right to put in a claim. And if they want to deny me, they deny me. But why is my own doctor, who I would think a doctor should have a relationship with, really relationship with this patient, uh, would deny me, would, would become like my enemy. And the way he did it, it's sort of like uh, machoism. Like I'm the boss. I said, I'm not, he, he actually initially said, he's not going to lie for me. Like I'm asking him to lie. I'm not asking him to lie. You gotta be kidding me. Just because I prepared the form for him. I didn't put the X's in the boxes. So then I wrote him and said, listen, I'm going to remove the X's in the boxes. You put whatever you want. Don't worry about it. So I resent the form. Okay. So it wasn't a mistake. Like he tried to say, uh, the first time I was there, it was that I didn't print the signature page, but he wasn't going to sign it anyway. He was probably relieved that he didn't, he didn't have to put me through that. He didn't have to deal with it because I didn't have that page. But the next day, the same day, I, 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 I submitted the right pages and I still had, and from then on, I was chasing after him again and again, just like before meeting him that second time, I was chasing after him for weeks, maybe over a month. I feel like I've been chasing him after him for about two, two months to get his signature for disability. Now, disability doesn't have to mean that you're bedridden and you can't get up and you need somebody to come a, a, a caregiver and, and care for you. No, it means that you can't work. You can't really fend for yourself. I have felt like I cannot fend for myself when, when I weed whack a little bit, when I try to run errands and bring water that I got to fall asleep, go to sleep right away. That, you know, this to me is disability. Well, at least for working, I cannot have a job. I, I, I don't feel, uh, I I'm feeling a little better since I, I did that light treatment on my wrists and you know, you're in the medical profession. I'm into my homeopathic and alternative medicine. Uh, and this is something that I had in my closet for a while. I found it, wore it and I, and I felt better. It broke. I found something that's very similar and I just showed you, gave you a demo on it. I ordered another one. So I do feel better. I thank God for it. I've been using reflexology sandals, which I've always had a ton of, but I had to dig into that closet. Um, actually I found, I, I found a pair, um, that, that good weekend from 4th of July. Um, I found a good pair in, um, in, 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 in uh, uh, flea market. And, uh, they made a difference to me because when I put them on, they were hurting, but, so when they hurt, when you first put them on, it's because something's wrong. When it stops hurting is because 
it did something. Okay. I don't care what anybody tells me. I've been into this for over 30 years. So you think what you think, if you think you know about homeopathic or, you know, if you're into medicine, this is not your forte. Anyway, I've sat with doctors. I've had lunch with doctors. I've been around a little bit and, um, I'm always having to teach them and share with them. I'm not saying you're all into only medicine. There are more and more doctors crossing over or accept, being more accepting of this, but I do know what I'm talking about. So don't try to tell me that I don't. Okay. All right. So the sandals helped also. All right. So now I have good news. I, I, I'm getting slightly better. But if I sleep without the guard, like right now, my jaw is begging me to put on the guard. And it's, uh, I don't know what time it is. Let me see. It's, 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 it's not even dark. It's 828. Okay. So I'm usually heading to bed between 730 and 830. Okay. This is my norm since I have TMJ and since I'm like suffering from fatigue. But if I do something, um, any, if I run any shores, you know, run any errands around home or typically I could be in bed even by five 30 or six 30, not necessarily sleeping, but I'm just fatigued. I'm not sleepy cause I'm well rested. Right. But I'm, I'm just fatigued. So do you really think that I could work, um, have a job, um, I could defend myself. I could sustain myself. I could go to a supermarket and, and get back, but, uh, I'm going to be in bed a lot earlier. I consider this disability. This is not what I'm used to. This is, and, and, and it's only temporary disability because thank God that there is therapy that, uh, Dr. Storm referred me to. And I wish I would have, um, uh, done this much sooner. Um, but I just didn't want to drive all the way down to Wilkes-Barre. So, um, I take responsibility for being stubborn, uh, neglecting, not going there. But, uh, I was also discouraged from, from, um, uh, doing, uh, doctor appointments because, uh, IME was, uh, was not there. And I just did my IME two days ago. And, um, I'm pretty sure that the doctor understood me because he was horrified when he opened my mouth. That was a bad day for me. When I went to see Dr. Storm, it was the next day. Usually it's not two days in a row. I was very fresh. My, my muscles were not, um, uh, swollen because I slept with the guard and, uh, I probably took the guard off for about an hour. Um, I, it was not a good night for me before I went to, to the IME. Uh, I was very nervous because I had to drive for an hour and I was very nervous about becoming fatigued and twice in a row having to go to doctors on a long drive. I, I was very concerned that I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Okay. Um, so, um, I, I got a little careless with, with, with the, with the guard. I know I just put it down for an hour and when I'm in bed, I really should wear them because when I'm in bed is different from when I'm upright. Okay. Uh, because my jaw positions itself and aligns itself differently. That's why I wear it at night because I want to be fresh in the morning. I don't want to have swollen muscles, irritated muscles, and it does work. I know what I'm doing. It's a great technique. Okay. Here's, here's my guard. This is what my guard looks like. Okay. All right. I cut it down. It's a homemade guard. I bought one, but this is what I did. See how thin it is? That thinness separates my teeth because my teeth feel like they're going to crack each other. Um, or they could, they could, I could end up biting my jaw. And somehow it helps me maintain my, my mouth shut. So see, oh, this is how it is on the other side. So it won't fall. I won't, you know, it won't fall off. But the same token, it's not shaping my teeth. It's not hindering. Uh, like Dr. Storm said that it could be a hinder if it's hard, but this is soft as you can see. Okay. Uh, so see how it shakes. So if it were plastic, or a, 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 a hard material, then see how I have it all bitten up, all shoot up. So if, if it were a, a different consistency and if it had, were up, like I cut up, I, I cut it all up. It was like this thick from, from where my nail is down to this bottom part. So I cut it all up because my, I feel my teeth need to breathe, even though I don't sleep with my mouth open. If I do, it, it gets dehydrated, but still I felt my, my, my teeth, the teeth, the color of my teeth were like turning gray. Um, and, um, so the, <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't want to risk it, um, the integrity of my teeth. Um, and it was far more comfortable this way. It wasn't cutting into my, 
you know, my, my, my gum line. So this is probably I should get a patent on this. Trust me. Anyway. Um, so see, this is what comes between my teeth. That's it. If it's any thicker, um, it will definitely throw off my jaw. I cannot, I cannot have anything thicker than this in my mouth as a guard. Okay. So this has been the trick to me. This has been my trick. All right. Because before I used to have a swollen, uh, a swollen, swollen, swollen muscles all the time. I never knew it was the muscles. I thought it was glands. Um, I felt secretion, sort of like lemony secretion. Um, I'm going to get the proper wording from my first chiropractor because he knew exactly what it was. But when I talk to malefactual surgeons, they don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to get that in writing just, just, uh, because it's good to know. Okay. Uh, that secretion thing, that lemony thing, it's just weird. And, and, and there's a swelling of the gland. I don't think those were swelling, that was swelling of the muscles, although I'm sure in conjunction, the muscles were swelling as well. But, um, that initial experience with TMJ then switched over to what I have now, which is really the muscles swelling and, um, and it causes an, a very uncomfortable inability to, to talk. So yeah, I am partially disabled. Um, I, I'm disabled for work. Okay. Um, I, I could, f I am fending for myself, but I end up in bed very early and this is not normal to me. This is disability. So how do you define disability? I don't know, but to me, this is disability. I'm not a fraud. I'm not faking it that, um, to the extent that uh, my so-called doctor, uh, usually a doctor is supposed to be, you know, I call it family doctor supposed to be someone who's understanding, sympathetic, trying to understand if they don't. And, but this doctor has been so cold and I don't know how he has, uh, such great ratings. I have no idea. I think that I tapped into his machismo because I think he feels that I defied him because I, I, I completed the application for him. I was only trying to be his assistant to enable him to get it done, knowing that he's very busy. Um, so then I removed again, the excess from the boxes so he could put it himself. So he won't be offended because he did tell me he's not going to lie. I'm like, what are you going to, what's he going to lie about? I'm not telling him to lie, you know? Um, and then finally, when he signed it, it was saying that I'm, I'm not disabled. And, um, it seemed like he was pissed because the way he did it in the manner that he did it, he didn't, nobody advised me that he took it to the front desk and it was filed, filed. They should have called me to tell me it's ready. I had been calling and chasing after this for two months. And you're telling me he reads the email, he downloads the form, he fills it out, but no one replies to me saying it's at the front desk. I had to call because I'm, I'm t uh, uh, that's all I do is chase after him. And then somebody read that he had just done it, just done it 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, he had just done it at 930. So he did it in the morning. And, um, but, but, so that was not just, that was hours ago. And, but yet nobody had notified me where this so-called signed document, which was really a decline, you know, a, a double dose of his decline and negligence of filling this out. Cause it was saying that I'm not disabled. So who is he to tell me that I'm not disabled? Now you tell me if my definition of disability is wrong. Okay. If I can't work and I can't survive. Isn't that disability? I mean, do I have to be strapped to the bed with a caregiver to call myself disabled? Yeah, I was, I'm disabled because I cannot work for myself. I have not received a pay. I had not received a pay since from February when, when the door started locking. Uh, I was supposed to start that week doing sales phone work. I got, I was supposed to make from anywhere from a hundred to 300 calls a day. Okay. If I could make two calls. It's a lot the way I've been feeling. Okay. And it would be the equivalent of me waking up without my, 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 um, my thing here with my guard without this. If I don't wear this for one hour during my sleep, I wake up all swollen. And if I could talk 20 minutes for the day, entire day, it's a lot. That's how I would get, even if I wear this all night, that's how I would get after making just a couple of calls. Okay. Um, because I would have been in training, talking to, 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 to my trainer, talking to the new person, uh, trying to call and make appointments. You know, if I would last two hours, it's a lot. I, no, I, I never would have lasted two hours. Even, even if I would have won this. 
Okay, 20 minutes. Uh, let me see. Was I wearing the guard back then when in 20 minutes? Now I could go for about an hour. But if I take this off one hour uh, early, you know, I should get a full eight hours at least with this. It's the lying down thing. If I'm lying down for at least an hour, I'm going to get swollen, even if I put this back on. So if you get the picture, great. If you don't, um, I'm, I'm sorry for you that you're not sympathetic because something like this could happen to you. Thank you for listening and have a good day. Bye.